Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Uh, last time I said I'd play Central File Rook and I said I would be lucky. I was not lucky. I didn't deserve to be lucky either. Good luck. Um, oh, I get Senta this time. I'm going to be stubborn and try it all over again. And maybe this time pay attention to the moves I'm playing. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. So if they move the silver up, that blocks the bishop. Otherwise, I want to unblock my bishop. So I'm defending this. And yeah, we have a tense moment. Where they've put a lot of pressure on this. And I want to discourage the corner castle on Aguma. <laughs> They're playing right into it. All right. Um, I guess I'll continue building my castle and not try to stop them. Because trying to stop them never works. Um, oh, but I should have the silver up one if I want to... I'm all confused. I am all confused. All right. Let's get my king to safety. This is kind of a mess. Because that's not where I want the bishop to stay, and the silver is capable of moving and hitting the bishop. Uh, the rook is responsible for defending two pieces. So, in an ideal world, I would have played slightly more aggressively. My silver would be on 5-5 five five already. But my king would be much more scared than it is right now. I played passively. Um, yeah, a couple games ago, or maybe it was the last game, I played something extremely aggressively in a position where I was very solidly winning. And my aggression was completely unwarranted and lost the game. Um, so... I guess the word of caution is that aggression is not always a virtue. Um, all right, so. That said, guess what I'm about to do? We're going to play the aggressive move, because that's fun. It's good to have fun while you're playing, isn't it? There's the fun move. I might lose the game for having played it, but boy, we're going to have fun. That's the goal. The goal isn't to win. The goal is to have fun. And if we can make the opponent think along the way, so much the better. Mm -hmm. So... Let's see. If I move the gold up, I lose a piece. So let's not do that. Now we can move the gold up. Oh, right, this thing. So this gold is separate from the castle. So yep. here I have a silver. Um, I'm going to make a march on the rook and see what happens. Yes, a bishop is normally worth more than a silver, but hey, I've built a castle. They've not completed their castle. This is the aggressive strategy that I thought would be somewhat enjoyable. Um, all right. So I don't want this rook to promote, and I think this does effectively stop the rook from instantly promoting. Also, I mean, the rook could promote now. The saying is don't run from a fork. Um, hmm. Silver up, bishop takes, silver takes... 
Bishop takes. That's no good. Well. Well, well, well. Giving them a gold is not what I want to do here. Um, Nanafun. Hmm. Giving them a rook is also not what I want to do. But somehow I have to resolve this tension in my mind and come up with a plan. Oh. Okay, yeah, I have a plan now. Wait, silver bishop takes is my problem. And I take here. No, we've been there. That's not the problem. Um, yeah, I think this will be still somewhat interesting. Yeah, this, I think, is just better for me. Um, the rationale here is that this rook is an easy target. Wherever it goes, I'm always going to have a rook to attack. Um, hmm. I'm not sure that's a good square for it to retreat to. So I'm threatening to drop a pawn in front of the rook. Um, it's true that my back rank is severely loose, but my plan is to drop a pawn on my back rank and maybe give up the gold if I need to. Um, so they're threatening a bishop drop here. That's their point. Oh, well, the bishop drop there actually isn't so scary. I don't need to... They don't have a gold to knock me out. Um... Gofun. This is such a position. So they can obtain a lance. They could also try to expose this rook. Um, I think the problem with the, trying to expose the rook is that I get to shut down the rook this way. They do not have a gold general. Mm-hmm. So this is complicated, but wasn't this exactly the sort of thing I wanted? Um, puzzle. All right, so I defend, and I attack, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, I knew that. Shit. I had to do this first, and then move the gold over. Uh, otherwise, I'm giving three golds for a bishop. Um, that wasn't the plan. Well... Yeah, I should have dropped this first. The bishop moves away, and then moved this over. Huge difference. This way is one move faster and three generals poorer. So...
I mean, it's a bishop richer, but that's not what I was planning. My attack is... yeah. It's the opponent's turn, so I can't resign, but also on principle, like, gotta play the force moves here. Have a stiff upper lip and pretend it's fine. It's very much not fine. Um, so... Hmm. That's aspirational. Um. That's a red herring if there ever was one. I can't defend against this effectively and conduct an attack, so I'm succumbing. I'm falling on my sword here. Silver drop ends the game immediately. They missed it. Alright, so we will fight on. A long and painful battle that I am almost certain to lose. Oh, did I say a long and painful battle? I might have missed it. What I meant to say is a painful battle. Alright, so... Yeah, this... I have no chance here. This is so, so, so bad. Um, I don't know how to pretend that I have a chance here. I guess that's how we pretend. You'll have to have a very active, vivid imagination to believe that this actually amounts to something. Alright, so... Let's sacrifice the knight, because why not? And then I can attack the new knight. Yep. There we go, that's a check. This is not going in any kind of constructive direction. Which is sad, because if I had one more piece I could take here. Um... So this is, this has gone the best possible way it could after I dropped three pieces for a bishop. Um, I've actually got something that resembles an attack, but is almost certain to instantly fall apart. Um, but, you know, we played this hand because it's the one that I'm dealt. They threaten a knight drop mate. Um... I block the checkmate attempt. They continue. I block again. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I continue blocking. Take the knight. Take the rook or dragon. This game is somewhat demoralizing. I'm the villain now. Mm -hmm.
I am definitely the villain if I win this. Um, let's check. I check because I need this to defend my king. And this still isn't enough. I don't think it's enough. I could be wrong. Yeah, they have mate in five. Or they have a knight drop and I have to run away and die. Um, arguably, just clearing a path to run might have been smarter. But I bluffed them. So yay me. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I should have dropped up a single square, because they have another bishop they could add to this fire. Um, yeah, and if they sack here, then they might find the bishop drop and take the rook. Among all the other things that are not quite great here. Um, okay, I block this horse so that I don't die. Finally take this rook that's been offered. And here goes nothing. And there it goes. I've got 30 seconds. This is not great. This is sad. This is... I'm going to lose the game on time. There's no way I can move fast enough to checkmate. Um, all right. Uh, shit. Oh, they have a silver drop. No, I could take it, though. What a mess. Okay, you can have my rook. Oh my god. How many times did I miss this? Too many. Thanks for the game. Oh. Okay, that was our first game of the day. Um, if you don't want to see more of that, turn back now. Yeah, sorry. Good luck. Let's get some proverb up there for motivation's sake. Because a proverb is more inspirational than whatever that was. In fairness, it's like almost 2 a.m., 3 a.m., whatever, where they're playing. One could question whether it's a good idea to play at such an hour. Okay. Maybe I should have pushed this. No, I couldn't push the pawn there. Whoa. Left me no. Okay.
Or that's not left Mino, that's Tenchukaku Mino or something. Um... Hmm. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mute 81 Dojo in the background. We'll do it after this game. That was Left Mino. Left Mino is a dragon? Or at least visualized as a dragon? I guess so. Um... Should not have moved the knight. This is so bad. This is so, so bad. What do I do? I guess I move the knight again. Again, apologies for forgetting to mute 81 Dojo. Every live stream, I get one technical detail wrong, and I'll accept that that was the one detail I got wrong this time. So sorry about that. We might hear some people come and go throughout this game. But that's not me doing anything in a separate tab. I'll mute that after this. Every time there's one technical detail I miss, because there's so sorry again about that. Unless it's one of you watching who's doing it. In which case, you're just having a lot of fun. Um, but okay, our opponent exchanged, and they are out to get my bishop. Um, good for them. I'm trying to figure out, is there any way I can continue an attack because they tried so hard to get my bishop? A silver drop here, a silver drop there, both look pretty silly. Um, Yeah, I just don't have an attack here. Maybe I can make a defense, but not an attack. Um, sorry again about the noise. I guess I'll just take this. I have two silvers. It's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. I don't want my rook on that line where it can easily become a target for the bishop, so I just move the rook. So I'm down a material, and nothing can be done. I am impressed that for the better part of, like, a hundred of these episodes, I've always remembered to mute 81 Dojo. And it's this episode that I forget. But perhaps this episode's less memorable in any event, for various reasons. Uh, game one, I tried to play Central File Rook. Obviously, I need to study it better. This game, I tried to play Static Rook. Obviously, I need to study it better. There is a pattern here. I play stuff that I have not completely studied. So, I don't know that that's a surprise to anyone, but that's just where my risk tolerance is. That's a fork. Suddenly I'm back on the board. Hooray. We'll take it. Look at that. That's a fork, and another fork, and there's a proverb in Shogi, don't run from a fork, 
What's our next proverb? Without gold in hand, there is no defense. All right, well, I hope that's not ominous in this case. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, as the opponent encroaches on my position, how doomed am I? Let's find out. Mm -hmm. So they're threatening various sacrifices here, there, and everywhere. Um, oh, yeah, I can just attack and remove stuff this way. How much do I want this rook? I'm pretty sure I very much want it, because I can stop their king from going here. But then they'll get a bishop. And that could be difficult. So they're threatening silver, silver pawn, gold knight, silver sack here. I think my best move is just to drop the rook back, but then the rook is prone to a fork. Yes, I need to remove this attacking rook. It's too dangerous. I can't let that sit there. So I've removed their best attacking piece, and now I've inserted it, uh, preventing their king from running away too quickly. They could drop something and let their king run, but they'd have to spend a move dropping a piece where they don't want to drop it. Um, also, if they waste a move, I can take the pawn and then take the knight. And yeah, they get to defend the king and... Gofun. I can only do so much here. Um, do I go up two or three? Pretty sure up two is correct. Well, if I go up two, I could drop a bishop and do stuff. I don't know. Um... If I go... Oh, never mind. Yeah, there is a good point to this. If they were silly enough to drop the bishop back here to stop my lance from approaching, I could take this pawn and then take the knight. I don't have to approach the castle, although generally it's a good idea. Yes, yeah, so they're not going to use the bishop. That would be tre tremendously wasteful to stop my attack. But... Um... They have a knight and a pawn in hand. Do I have a mate? It's pretty darn close. Let's do the adventurous thing and pretend we have it. So yeah, I can't take out this point. I would need to attack from behind or attack from the side or back here somehow. The knight's not the correct piece to attack with, but the knight could fit here. All right, I'll take the lance. They sacrifice a pawn. So yeah, they want to trap my rook and they do. And good on them, they get a rook. They've made something of this useless knight. Um, it doesn't matter which way I take it. Okay, so I'm going to take it again. Yep. So they corral my rook. Um, interesting point. I would rather give up the rook oh, for a piece in the corner um, than take a gold. So I've broken up their shape even further. Um, 
3分。Uh, let's attack. Full speed ahead. Hmm. Maybe I should have a second move if I'm going to say things like that. Maybe I should have a second move if I'm going to make bold pronouncements about the fate of the game. It, I am amused that they have some really heavy pieces, and yet my attack is going to be pretty severe for a while. Maybe this drop is too heavy. Maybe I should have brought the silver up instead of dropping a piece. But it's my bias to drop pieces when I can. And this seemed like a reasonable way to use the move. Uh, next I want to push this pawn and the... Oh, yeah, no, I do want to push this. This bishop here is a monster and needs to be removed. Yeah, if I'd move the silver up, actually, they have this knight drop. It's not easy to deal with. They still did have a knight drop. It's still a point of some contention. Oh, look, they got another knight. Mm -hmm. What are they going to do with all these knights? Yes, there's a proverb that so many knights form a checkmate, but where is the mate? They, like, drop one here. One... Oh, actually, they only have one in hand. Here's a knight. There's a knight. I mean, they could sack the dragon for if they really needed one. But I'm not sure that that's what they need. Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. This is spooky. Look, my king is ill defended. Uh -huh. They see that. Um, Ippun. Mm. My king is not long for this world. That's not good. Alright, I just have to believe in this. Oh, right, I can't move this way. 
Never mind. Well, I believed incorrectly. Oh well. Two games down, one to go. Without a golden hand, there's no defense. Good luck. I forgot to say thanks for the game, probably. Also, one second. I'm going to go mute 81 Dojo. Sorry that I forgot to do this earlier. There it is. Um, fourth file rook. Here we go. Here goes my silver. What do you even call this? I wonder. I just made up this shape. But it's hard to come up with original shapes and original ideas. So this is probably stolen from something somewhere somehow. Or at least it's not. It can't be that original. So what am I transposing myself into is the question. There's pawn 5-5. Five five. My knight covers the bishop's head, so... Oh, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. All right, so I gained a silver. And I still have my bishop. My bishop is in an excellent position. Um, I'll try to gain more material now. Uh, so there I go. I have a silvered fork threat. But also my horse could maybe exert some influence if they give up some of these squares. Um, I've almost completed Fulmino. It's not there yet. All right, I execute my threat. Mm-hmm. There we go. Got another piece. Got a rook in hand. I just don't know anymore. Um, well, when in doubt, try not to hang your pieces. So this connects the gold with the rest of the castle. In the eventuality that somehow some disaster happens, at least the gold's not hanging. But, yeah, I think I can calm down here and slowly win this and don't need to do anything too desperate. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'll let Transport be our oracle today who tells me about the value of time. I mean, quite often I do need the lecture, but this time I seem to be doing okay. That's a fork. Take one of these. But yeah, I've... Actually, they defended this, which is quite reasonable. They didn't defend this, I could have sacked the horse here. So they played this defensive move, which is quite appropriate. I'm going to try to force them to remove that so that I can sack here after all. Uh, 
Why did I think I could take this? How daft am I? <laughs> uh, Alright. Um, My king's still not in peril, so let's change that. It's no fun if one player is doing all the punching. We'll give them a silver. Let them punch back. I should have taken here, though. I was just so addicted to this idea of sacking right there. But, oh, never mind. I spooked them. All right. Um... They have been thoroughly spooked. Incidentally, the gold here is now a target. Um, so, that's fun. If they take this knight, I've got another knight to replace it. Man... I don't get to do any of the cool sack sack mate stuff until I've actually practiced my sumo shogi. It's like none of these checkmate tricks. Well, now this gold defends this gold. This defends that point. None of these silly sacrifices. Um, Not quite foot the bill. I could drop a pawn that blocks this bishop. That's no good. I could take this and then drop the pawn. Then the silver runs back. Then I could promote the pawn. The silver, yeah. Um, hang on. Bishop takes, gold takes. Other bishop takes, gold takes again. I've got a gold and a silver, but I don't have a knight here. None of the cool sacrifices work until you've studied your checkmates. And then suddenly they all work at once. Um, so this is not going to be checkmate, but I'm going to play it anyway. So that's the cool sacrifice. And then I can drop the silver here. Oh, well, okay, now I've probably got something. Um... Hmm. Man, I just want to play the cool looking moves. When's it going to be my turn to do the cool moves? All right, there's a cool move, right? Mm hmm. Now, silver, king, knight. Yeah, this mates. Wait, silver. I got two silvers. That's pretty nice. Um. Yeah, so if the king go oh actually king sideways, gold drop, etc. Yeah, this all mates by force. Hooray! I got to play cool moves. That's for the game. Yeah, he's terrified of the mighty 1Q. Honestly, if I were playing at 2am, I'd be terrified too. So, hope we enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.